Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So basically the audio kind of messed up on this video and it was like super low, so just make sure to turn up your volume when watching this video. Enjoy the video. Today I wanted to share with you seven habits you should add to your daily routine if you're not doing them already to feel good and productive. I just want to get right into the video without a long intro. I also have a list here of the seven habits. So yeah, let's just get right into this. The first one is to wake up before noon and make your bed right away. I know that like if you have school, obviously you're going to have to wake up at a certain time. But I think during this time, like summer break, I think it's a really good way to just make sure your sleep schedule is just like set. But right now it hasn't been going too well. So I'm trying to get back on that habit of waking up before noon. Waking up before noon is a good way to just feel happy and productive and I don't know something about waking up early maybe I'm just starting to become a morning person and make your bed right away once you get out of bed because it just makes you feel more productive you've probably seen this in a lot of like productive videos where they say make your bed first and I really do think it works and makes you feel like you need to get other stuff done and also it makes your room feel clean a clean room equals a clear mind Okay, the second habit you should add to your daily routine is drinking water right when you wake up. So sometimes when I drink water, I don't know, I just don't feel like drinking water. I just feel like going to eat breakfast. But basically, I think that drinking water makes me feel more awake. Even if it's just like a sip of water, it's still beneficial. It just like makes me feel more like ready to get up. Also, I think that it makes me feel fuller after breakfast, which I think is good because breakfast should be something that fills you up. I used to have a problem with like drinking water in the morning because it would make me feel bloated, but I think that as you keep doing it, it just gets better. Okay, so the next habit, not really a habit, but just something that you can do to make you feel good is making a smoothie bowl, a smoothie, a green smoothie, or drinking a green juice. Most green juices aren't actually gross. I've tried the ones from Press Juicery and they're actually really good and they just taste fruity. I also like making smoothie bowls a lot. I literally make a smoothie bowl like every day. They're just so good and you can just like go wild with it. Just like use any type of fruits you'd like. Also just like making a smoothie or like a green smoothie. I love smoothies so if you guys like smoothies too, I think it's a really good thing to do. If I think it's a really good thing to make or drink if you want to feel good. So the fourth habit is something that I need to work on, but it's going outside and just taking a breath of fresh air. Um, okay, I'm back. There was like construction, so it was like really loud. Go outside, try to go outside every day. It's something I'm working on, but I think just like getting a breath of fresh air is really good instead of being like, confined in your house all day especially during this time obviously if you're going out where there's going to be people make sure to social distance and wear your mask open a window look outside okay so for the fifth habit go on pinterest this is something i've been doing for the past few months it's just like really good for inspiration pinterest is just a place for everything where you can find inspiration for anything i found inspiration for my room my outfit bullet journaling i love pinterest and just it's really fun to scroll through too okay so here's me on pinterest and as you see like my home page are stuff that like are similar to like what i've been saving so like i don't know scrolling through pinterest is just my favorite thing ever like look at this outfit it's so cute look at this room it is adorable so i like adding just like random pins to my boards um also follow me on pinterest pinterest amazing i love it it's a fun activity it's like scrolling through social media but like you're just scrolling through a bunch of things that are like inspirational yum this is so cute wait you can't even see it for the sixth habit, you should definitely start journaling if you're interested in it. I started like bullet journaling a few years back and it's honestly so fun. Like I love journaling so that's why I do it. So you can like bullet journal, like create a plan for your day or just like there's different stuff 
to put in your like bullet journal or like in your journal. I also think that like writing down your goals is super important. It creates a good mindset. I like writing down my goals because when I look back on them and I achieve them, it's like really nice to look at. I have my bullet journal and my law of attraction journal and they're really good to like write in like every day. My bullet journal is a place that sometimes I like to do like inspiration spreads and I'll show you guys that in a second. Also in my law of attraction journal I like to set it in like categories, stuff that you know I kind of want to manifest. A law of attraction journal is really good if you're into like manifesting but the bullet journal is what I really want to talk about. So I'm about to show you guys a recent spread that I did. I put it on my TikTok if you guys want to check it out, Jesse Guava. Okay, so as you guys see, this is like a spread that I did on like two pages. So it was outfit inspiration. I took some pictures from Pinterest of outfits that I thought were really cute and I kind of, since I want my bullet journal to be like aesthetically like pleasing, I did it by like color so I got like some blue outfits which I thought were really cute and some green and like reddish pink outfits and then I kind of just like used my creativity to create a spread that looked like this and then I took like a bunch of my favorite like stickers and just like created this spread that is just so pleasing to look at and makes me feel very inspired with like my outfits and stuff. Yeah, bullet journaling is super fun and I really love it. And for my law of attraction journal, I don't want to open it, but I just write my goals and stuff in here in present tense. So for the last habit, this one is something that you probably hear a lot is working out. Um, that's something I also need to work on, but sometimes I just feel super motivated to work out. But the past few days I haven't been. I just feel more like tired and when I did work out every other day I would feel like more alive and more like awake. So I definitely think working out makes a difference. It's just that you have to have the motivation. I know that I'm still working on it. It really is hard to work out every other day or every day. And also along with working out, stretching is a really good thing. I think it's really cool when people try to like get flexible, get their splits. That's something that's a little bit easier to do because you can do a quick five minute stretch every single day. You know, a quick five minute stretch every day isn't a lot. It's just five minutes. So I definitely can add that in my daily routine and you should too. Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful. I feel like all of the things that I listed were pretty simple. I hope that like I explained things pretty well. This is all just from like my own experience and having like done these things daily and like feeling the like benefits of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm planning to post every single Friday and if I do like miss a Friday I'll probably post on the Wednesday of that week or something like that. Make sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram and my TikTok and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Don't worry, baby, don't worry. One gets one sleep while you always in a hurry.